Hey guys, today we're talking about similar figures with sloped triangles. So what is a similar figure? If we have two figures and all of their angles are congruent, then they're similar. If all of their angles and their sides are congruent, then they're congruent. So what I mean by similar is that angle A and angle X are congruent, okay? This symbol right here means congruent. Angle B, and angle Y are congruent, and angle Z and angle C are congruent. So the two figures are similar. Please make sure that you write down the symbols here and the model for me. You don't necessarily need the words. You need similar figures, these pictures, and this right here, because these symbols are important. All right, so let's move on to this. We know the lengths of the corresponding sides are similar, and they're proportional than if their side lengths are similar. So when they're similar polygons, you can use proportions to find the unknown lengths. Here's what I mean by that. For example, these are not the same figure, but their angles are the same, so they're similar, which means that their sides should be in proportion with one another. So, so I got rid of that work at the bottom because I want to show you my way. So what we do is we look and we say, okay, these two are in the same spot and these two are in the same spot. And there's several ways to solve a proportion, but you need to make sure that this six is paired with the four. I'm gonna write one over the other. And then the X is in the same position as the six and the 12. You can write it like this, or you can write six and four across from each other but since six is similar to X, they have to be paired with one another. And since the 12 is similar to four, they have to be paired with one another. Do you see that no matter what, if I use cross products, I'm still multiplying six times 12 and four times X. Okay, so as long as um, you have it written in one of those ways, it's okay. The only way you can't do it is having six over the 12. Like this six and this 12 are not able to be next to each other. Even if I set it up like this, still six and 12 can never be paired with one another. Okay, so if we solve here, how do I get from four to 12? Multiply by three. So multiply this one by three and get 18. Or in this case, it's not really easy to get from six to four, so we can use cross products. Four groups of X times six groups of 12. So that's 72. Divide then by four and X equals 18. So no matter what, we figured out our X. Okay, I want you to go ahead and try this one. I'm gonna erase my work um, on this one so I have some room to show you the answer here. Pause the video and I'll be back in just a second to show you what I did. Okay, so what I did on part B is I looked and I paired up 10 with this one down here that I don't have. I paired up A with four because those are both the short sides and seven with 14 because those are both the longer sides. So do I need this 10? Nope, because I don't have anything over here that'll help me. So A over 14 equals four over seven or A and 14 being across from each other and A over four equals 14 over seven. Either way, go ahead and solve. I'm gonna do cross products just to refresh. A times seven is seven in groups of A. Four times 14, <clears throat> that gives you a total of 56. And when you divide 56 by seven, A equals eight. So our answer is eight. So what all does this have to do with slope? <clears throat> if we want a similar figure, um, or if we have two similar figures, then they're proportionate. Well, every line that we create has similar figures on it, okay? And these are what we call slope triangles. So using similar figures, you can prove that slope, the slope of a line is proportional. For example, <clears throat> if I have triangle A and triangle B, 
I'm going to look at triangle A and say that I'm rising one, two, three, four, five, six. This is plus six. And it goes back one, two, three. So negative three. So I have six over negative three. On triangle B, I have one, two, three, four, positive four, but it goes back one, two, so negative two. Both of these are equivalent because they equal two over one and it's negative. So they both equal a negative two over one or just negative two, right? So the slope of this line is negative two. If I look at this one, I'm looking at the rise, how much it's going up and over. So it's A is going up one, two, three, plus three, and over one, two, three, four, plus four. So three over four. Okay, I'm gonna do B in a different color. We know it goes up one, two, three, oh, just kidding, another color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So up nine, and then it goes over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Nine twelfths simplifies to three fourths. So these are the same slopes for triangle B and triangle A. Okay, on the next one, I want you to find the slope of both of them. But this time there are three, so find triangle A, triangle B, and triangle C slope and prove by simplifying that they are similar figures and that they have the same slope. I'll be back in just a second to show you what I did. Okay, let's look at triangle A first, which is right here. It went up six and to the right four, so six over four is three over two. Let's look at triangle B. Triangle B went up three and over two. Again, these are similar because three halves and three halves. Let's look at triangle C. It went up nine and to the right six. So nine over six simplifies to three halves. All of these have the same simplified ratio. And that's all I've got for you today. and I will see you next time. Bye.